welcome to this session. Today we are going to discuss the principle of inclusion and exclusion. See here, principle of inclusion and exclusion for two sets. So let us consider A and B are any two sets. Then principle of inclusion and exclusion is nothing but the number of elements in A union B is equal to the number of elements in A plus number of elements in B minus number of elements in A intersection B. And uh, this is going to be extended. So number of uh, elements in A that can be written as cardinality of A union B is equal to cardinality of A plus cardinality of B minus cardinality of A intersection B. So this is, uh, we can write, this is like a number of elements in A union B or simply we can write it as a cardinality of A union B is equals to cardinality of A plus cardinality of B minus cardinality of A intersection B. And we are going to extend this to three sets, three sets. That means uh, number of, uh, or cardinality of, uh, or number of elements of A union B union C is equals to number of elements in A plus number of elements in B plus number of elements in C minus number of elements in A intersection B, number of elements in A and C minus number of elements in B and C plus number of elements in A and B and C. So this also we are going to represent in the other way, cardinality of A union B union C is equal to cardinality of A plus cardinality of B plus cardinality of C minus cardinality of A intersection B minus cardinality of B intersection C minus cardinality of C intersection A plus cardinality of A intersection B intersection C. So in this way also we can represent this principle of inclusion and exclusion. And of course we are going to extend it for this to the n sets to the n sets like this we are going to extend principle of inclusion exclusion for n sets. So here we are going to consider this as a1 union a2 union and so on an cardinality of a1 union a2 and union and so on an is equals to cardinality of ai i is equals to 1 to n and cardinality of ai intersection az minus so summation of AI intersection AJ plus summation of AI intersection AJ intersection AK. See here, this is minus, this is plus, the next this is minus. Like that we are going to get the alternating series and minus, last one is minus 1 to the power of N minus 1 summation of AI A1 intersection A2 intersection A3 and so on intersection AN. So this is the principle of inclusion and exclusion for n sets, for n sets. Now we are going to discuss some of the problems related to the uh, principle of inclusion and exclusion for two sets or for three sets and so on. So now let us concentrate one example of this. A town is having 10,000 families, 10,000 families. It was found that 40% of the families are studied newspaper A, 20% of the family studies newspaper B, and 10% are studied newspaper C. There are three different uh, uh, newspapers are there, A, B, C, and 40% of uh, total 10,000 families, they are studying uh, newspaper A, and 20% B, and 10% newspaper C, and 5% of the families by newspaper A and B, 3% of the family by newspaper B and C, 4% of the family by newspaper A and C. And if 2% of the family by all the newspapers, all the three types of newspaper, then find the number of families by, one is a number of families which buy all three types of uh, uh, newspapers and the next uh, number of families which will buy only newspaper A, next newspaper B, newspaper C, number of uh, number of families which buy 
none of these uh, newspapers a b c and uh, like this there are uh, so many questions are there number of families which buy exactly one new paper number of family which buy newspaper a and b b and c c and a number of families which buy at least two newspapers and at most two newspaper at least two means maximum two minimum two and the next uh, two and more than two and buy, uh, buy at most two newspapers number of families which buy exactly two so these are the different questions are from that one uh, problem they are asking now see here the number of families which studied all the newspapers the first question is number of families which will study all the three types of newspapers three types of newspaper let us consider here we are considering a is equals to uh, number of families which are studying newspaper a and so here we are going to find out a union b union number of families which are studied all the three newspapers all the three newspapers so it is nothing but cardinality of a plus cardinality of b plus cardinality of c that the principle will be there then we are going to take the principle of inclusion and exclusion for two sets for two sets that we have to apply and that is nothing but this one that is nothing but this one and plus intersection a intersection b intersection c so now we are going to find out see here 40 percent of the families are studied newspaper a newspaper a here it is mentioned 40 percent so i am just taking number of families studied newspaper a as a 40 percent and a number of studied in newspaper b as 20 percent number of uh, families which are studied in newspaper c is a uh, newspaper c is a 5 percent and 5 percent of the families are studied a and b 5 percent are studied a and b see here 5 percentages are studied a and b and the next 3 percent by newspaper b and c 4 percent by newspaper a and c 2 percent are by all the newspapers see here two persons uh, which they are going to buy all the three types of newspapers so this is two percent and the rest win is uh, either a and b both uh, see it is given as a uh, five percent as families by newspaper a as well as b of course as well as uh, b so for that three plus two it is nothing but five percent of course two percent are, uh, are going to buy the C newspaper, C type newspaper only also. But uh, here we are going to calculate this. This is 5% of people who are studied A and B. Next 4% of people who are studied A and C. And the next 3% of people who are studied B and C. B and by B and C. By B and C. So now we have to calculate only this. So it is given. So number of students, number of uh, uh, families by A and B. A and B. So it is given as a 5% and next B and C. B and C. It is given as a 3% and next uh, then uh, again another one is A and C. A and C. It will be 2% on uh, total. That means uh, uh, see here it is 5% will buy A and B. 5% will buy A and B. It is given as a 5% families by A and B. So I am just taking 5 here. And the next uh, remaining A and C, A and C, which is nothing but uh, 4%. So then A and C, which is as 4%. Next B and C, B and the C, that will be given as 3%. So that is given. And all the three is nothing but 2%. Subsequently, 60% are going to be by all the three kinds of newspapers, 60% of the families. Now, the second question is, uh, number of families which buy only newspaper A, only newspaper A. So, how many families are buying only newspaper A and they are not going to buy the remaining newspapers, remaining newspapers. So, here 40% will be there in that 40%, in that 40%, see how many are going to buy A and B is a 5% A and B as 5%. So next, uh, this 2% is studying all, uh, buying all the three kinds of papers. 
So A and B is 3% and this is uh, 2% and next uh, this is 2%. If I am going to add this, so 7%. So 40 minus 7, 40 minus 7. I have to calculate only this. I have to calculate only this, only this one. So here, so for that this whole thing is 40 minus this we are going to calculate. So it is 33%, 33% and similarly for B, similarly for B, 14 minus 5 minus 1, it is 6. So it is nothing but 40, uh, what is 20 minus, 20 minus, then we are going to take it as 3 to 5 and 1 is 6. So 20 minus 6, 20 minus 6. So we are going to get 14%. And similarly for C, for C is 10, 10% 10 minus 2 plus 2 uh, plus 1. So it is a 10 minus 5, it will be 5%. So number of families who are steady, who are by only newspaper, newspaper A is 33%, only newspaper B 14%, only newspaper C 5%. Now the number of families which buy none of these, none of these, that means we have to calculate what is A union, B union, C whole complement that we have to calculate, that we have to calculate. So which is nothing but the number of uh, total number of families that is a hundred percent minus and then we have to consider A union, B union, C, A union, B union, C. So that we have to calculate. See here it is a number of families uh, which are not studied A union, uh, either A, B or C papers. So then it is a hundred minus 100 minus cardinality of R, at least one of the paper. Then it is nothing but just to have to take this and we are going to apply this is uh, the above principle number of A union, B union, C is equals to 60%. So we are going to calculate this in the above. So that 60% we are going to calculate. Then we have to consider it as 40%. Then 40% of the families are not studied are not buying any of the three kinds of papers. <coughs> now, number of families which will buy exactly one paper, exactly one paper. See how many of uh, families are buying either exactly one paper means either it is A, paper type A or B or C. See here 33 and 14 plus 5. So 33 percent are buying only paper A, 14 percent are paper B, 5 percent are paper C. So just we are going to add all the things, so 52 percent, 52 percent. Next, number of families which will buy newspaper A and B only, A and B only, that is nothing but the intersection of those things. So A and B, A and B, so this we are going to get 3 percent. And here 2 percent of people are buying both A, B, C as well as and here A and C similarly we are going to get 2 percent and B and C we are going to get 1 percent, we are going to get 1 percent. So those things are mentioned here. Number of families which will buy at least two newspapers, at least two newspapers. So it is nothing but just to have to consider the total number, here it is nothing but 3%, 2% plus 1%, subsequently we can get, we can get it as 8%, it has a 8%. Now number of families which will buy at most two papers, at most two papers, at most two papers means uh, uh, at least two papers, uh, total minus at least two papers we are going to get. So at least uh, this one we are going to get uh, um, 2%. So then the number of uh, uh, families buy at most two papers. That means two papers are more than two papers. Uh, maximum is two papers. So that is we are going to number of families which buy. See here it is 98% uh, of the families. Number of buy families which will buy exactly two newspapers. Exactly two newspapers. So that is uh, three plus uh, uh, two plus one. So that will be six. That will be six percentage. That we are going to get like this. So now we are going to concentrate another uh, problem which is related to this uh, uh, inequality. Then is uh, 
if A and B and C are the finite sets, then we have to prove this. We have to prove this. See here, A minus B minus C is nothing but the number of elements which are there in A, but which are not belongs to B and which are not belongs to C, which are not belongs to C. That we have to calculate. So A minus B minus C means uh, number of elements which are belonging to A but not belonging to B or C. B or C. So this I am going to write it as A minus B minus C as A union B union C minus A union B union C is the whole thing minus B cardinality of B union C. B union C. Then we are going to apply it. This is the principle of inclusion and exclusion for three sets. This is going to be written. And next another one. This is for this term for three sets. And this is I am going to apply for two sets. Then after simplification, we are going to get one formula. So that is A minus B minus C. Cardinality is cardinality of A. Minus cardinality of A intersection B. And minus A intersection C. Like that it will be there. And now. See, there are uh, another problems will be there. So, in a sample of 100 uh, logic uh, chips, there are total number of chips are 100 will be there. So, in that, uh, defect have D1 defect, D1 defect. So, D1 defected, let us say I am considering A is the set of uh, uh, logic chips which is having D1 defect. And uh, next B is uh, another defect which is having D2 defect, set of all the chips which are having D2 defect and D3 defect. So A is having D1 defect and B set is denoting the chips which are having D2 defect and C is having D3 defect. Then it is given already the whole number of uh, uh, sample of uh, chips are 100. So in that 23 have defect 1. So, defect D1. So, cardinality of A is equals to 23. Cardinality of A is 23. Similarly, cardinality of B is 26. Cardinality of C is equals to 30. So, it is mentioned in the problem itself. And 8 have defect D1 and D3. 7 have defect uh, D1 and D2. So, A intersection B is 7. D1 and D3 a intersection C is 8 and the next B, D2 and D3, 10 will be there. So it is B intersection C and the next all are having the three defects. See here 3 is having all the defects. So A intersection B intersection C is equals to 3. Then they will have to find, find the number of chips having at least one defect. At least one defect. And the next another one is which is not having any defect which is not having any defect. At least one defect means we have to calculate either A defect will be there or B defect will be there or C defect will be there. So we have to calculate A union B union C, cardinality of A union B union C. So then we are going to use this, we are going to use the principle of inclusion and exclusion for three sets. Then we are going to substitute all the values we are going to get the remaining answer is like this. So at least one defect, at least one defect means either it is having A defect or B, uh, D1 defect or D2 defect or D, D3 defect. And then now we have to find out how many chips are not having any defect, not having any defect. So it is at least means A, A union, B union, C, then the, the complement we have to consider it as A union, B union, C, whole complement, that means which represents the number of chips which does not have any defect, which does not have any defect. So it is nothing but the universal set or the total number of chips or the how many uh, chips are there in the sample minus we have to calculate A union, B union. See, this is already calculated. So this is 100 minus 57. So which is equals to 43. 43 three chips are there, which does not have any defect, which does not have any defect. Now, let us go for the other example. Now, a survey of 500 television viewers 
of a sports channel produced the following information. Say there are a total number of uh, television viewers are uh, 500. So that is nothing but we are taking the sample and the sample size is equals to 500. And 285 watch cricket. So here the number of uh, people, the number of people who are watching cricket, A and taking B is the number of people who are watching hockey or watching hockey and C is the set number of people who are watching football, who are watching football. So A uh, set represents the number of uh, uh, candidates who are watching cricket, B represents the number of uh, candidates who watch hockey and C is uh, watching football. So in that situation, it is given that cardinality of A is 285 and the cardinality of B is equals to 195 and the cardinality of C is equals to 115 which is mentioned which is mentioned and another one is 45 watch cricket and football 45 watch cricket and football so cardinality of A intersection C is equals to 45 and next 50 watch football hockey and football hockey and football so 50 so it is nothing but b intersection c is equals to 50 and the next 50 do not watch any any kind of see here uh, 50 115 hockey and 45 watch football uh, cricket and football 70 watch cricket and hockey 70 watch cricket and hockey so these two so that is nothing but a intersection b is equals to 70. So it is given. It is given in the problem itself. And uh, see here, some of them are 50. Do not watch any three kind of C, A, union, B, union, C. Whole complement is equals to 50. Is equals to 50. It's mentioned like this. Now we have to find out how many viewers in the survey watch all the three kinds of uh, games or the three kinds of uh, games okay so that we have to calculate all the three kinds of games means uh, that is we have to calculate a intersection b intersection c cardinality we have to calculate what is this value so it is uh, we already known that the a union b union whole complement is equals to 50 means what is a union b union c which is nothing but the universal set or the total number of sample so u minus and we have to consider so this is whole complement is equals to a union b union c so this sorry this is not complement and i have to consider i have to consider this is just i'm taking like this so now it is nothing but 500 this is nothing but 500 minus it is 50 so subsequently 450 are watching at least one of the game, at least one of the game. Now we have to calculate what is this. What is A intersection, B intersection, C. So we have to apply the principle of inclusion and exclusion. Then we have to get A union, B union, C, which is equals to, so cardinality of A plus cardinality of B plus cardinality of C minus A intersection, B minus B intersection, C minus C intersection A plus A intersection B intersection C. <coughs> so this is the formula by using this we are going to calculate what is a A intersection B intersection C cardinality which is nothing but just we are going to represent just we are going to take the all the terms to that side Sub subsequently we are going to get so this is a a union B union C minus cardinality of A minus cardinality of B minus cardinality of C plus A intersection B plus B intersection C plus C intersection A. So by using this, so we are going to substitute all the things, substitute all the things. It is given already 450 minus cardinality of A it is 285 to 85 minus cardinality of B 195 and minus 115 
plus this is 70 plus uh, 50 and the next plus um, 45. If we are going to simplify this, so we are going to get the final value is equals to 20. Final value is equals to 20. So 20 candidates, 20 candidates are watching, are watching the uh, cricket, football and hockey and hockey. That is the first uh, uh, how many viewers of the survey watch all the three kinds of games. So you know we are just taking we have to calculate what is the inter A intersection B intersection C. So for that we are going to apply the principle of inclusion and exclusion. So just we are going to for three sets and we are going to get the finally what we are having A intersection B intersection C cardinality is equals to A union B union C minus the remaining things. So subsequently we are going to get this as the final results. Then the next one, how many viewers watch exactly, exactly one of these sports, exactly one of these sports. One of these sports means, see here, these, uh, this is uh, watching uh, cricket and the next uh, another one is uh, watching uh, so other game hockey and uh, let us say uh, watching the other game so here this is uh, cricket hockey and football so a cricket and uh, b is what is that b is so b we have to get watching hockey so b is watching hockey and the next uh, this is uh, C and next uh, C is equals to football. C is equals to football. So here what we are going to calculate the set of viewers who watch only cricket, who watch only cricket, then who watch only this, then who watch only this, hockey or football, hockey or football. So this we have to calculate. This we have to calculate. So we are going to write it as let A1 denotes the number of viewers who watch only cricket. Only cricket. Then B1 is only, let us uh, consider only hockey. Hockey. Then cardinality of C1 is only football. So now we have to calculate what is cardinality of A1. What is cardinality of A1? We already derived one of the uh, formula, one of the formula here, A minus B minus C. In the same way, we are going to get this is cardinality of A1 is equals to, then what we have? A minus B minus C. That is nothing but the set of elements which are there in A but not in B and C but not in B and C. So then by using that formula, by using that formula, so this is the formula and we have to use this uh, this formula here. Cardinality of A which is equals to cardinality of A and the next one is uh, minus cardinality of A intersection B minus cardinality of A intersection C and minus and uh, then it is A intersection B intersection C. So just we are going to substitute all the values. What is cardinality of A? What is A intersection B? And uh, A intersection C and A intersection B intersection C. So this is given already cardinality of A is uh, 285. This is 285 minus a intersection B, A intersection B cardinality is 70, this is 70, minus A intersection C is 45, is 45, minus, and next all the three, A intersection B intersection C is only 20, is only 20. So now it is nothing but 70, uh, 45, and 20. So we are going to get uh, 13, 135. So 285 minus 135, then we have to get this as, uh, let us, uh, I'm just taking, uh, what is that, uh, 8, uh, 
So 5 and an extra 150 we are getting 150. So A intersection B, next A, A intersection C minus A intersection B intersection C. So by using this, see that is plus is there. Uh, what is that? It is nothing but A minus. So it is, uh, see this is the somehow, it is uh, just worth considering it as what is that? 115, 115, just we are going to substitute. So it is nothing but 70, 170 plus 20, it is 190. So here we are taking it as plus. So this is uh, in the formula itself. This is not uh, so many, is a typing error. So we have to get this as, uh, this is not there. And then this we are going to get like this. So this is the formula by using that only uh, only the who are watching only cricket is that small. And similarly, who watch only football, who watch only hockey, uh, who only who watch only hockey is a cardinality of B one is a B minus A minus C same similar way. We are going to calculate and I say cardinality of C1 is equals to then C minus A minus B, A minus B. Once again, we have to substitute and we have to calculate in the same way, in the same way. Then we are going to get B cardinality and minus B intersection A minus B intersection C and the plus A intersection B intersection C. So by using this formula, by using this formula, we can get some value. And here also in the same way, C, C intersection A and minus C intersection B and plus A intersection B intersection C. So like this, this applying this and we are going to get, uh, let us, uh, if you are going to some simplify this, this we are going to get 95, 95 candidates. And this we are going to get 40 candidates. So here the question is, how many viewers watch only one of these sports? Only one of these sports. So here watching only cricket, watching only uh, hockey, watching only football is this. And now number of viewers only watch any one of the game. Any one of the game is. Any one of the game is any one of the game is. So it is nothing but cardinality of A1 plus cardinality of B1 plus cardinality of C1. So then we have to add all the things 190 plus 95 plus 40. Then we have to get some value. So that is a 325. So this is nothing but a, the number of viewers he watch any one of the game. Any one of the game. So this is the way that we are going to calculate this. And let us uh, consider the another example. So here, determine the number of, determine the number of positive integers, n, number of positive integers, number of positive integers. Another example, determine the number of positive integers, n, such that 1 is less than or equal to n is less than or equal to 100 and n is not divisible by and n is not divisible by n is not divisible by n is not divisible by 2, 3 or 5 2, 3 or 5 so how many determine the number of positive integers n such that n is lies from 1 to 100 and n is not a divisible by the number 1 to 100 if you are going to consider how many numbers will be there which are not divisible by 2, 3, 5 that is the question which are not divisible by 2, 3, 5 now what I am going to calculate I am going to take a1 be the set, 
a1 be the set, a is the set. So we are going to consider a1 a is a, just we are going to let us consider a yes, total number of uh, uh, numbers are 1, 2, 3 and so on, 100. There are total number of 1, 2, 3 and so on, 100. Now a1 be a subset, a1 be a subset of yes, of yes, and next whose elements are, whose elements are, whose elements are, elements are divisible by, divisible by 2 I am taking. Similarly, A to B a subset of S, whose elements are divisible by 3. And A3 is another subset whose elements are divisible by 5. Now I am going to calculate. That means I am going to find out what is cardinality of A1, what is cardinality of A2, what is cardinality of A3 and I am going to calculate what is A1 intersection A2 intersection A3 and finally after that, that means I am going to calculate what is A1 uh, complement intersection A2 complement, intersection A3 complement, intersection A4 complement that I have to calculate. A1 complement or A1, next intersection A2, intersection A3 complement. So I am going to consider A1 union, A2 union, A3 whole complement. So this I have to calculate. This I have to calculate this. So it is nothing but uh, or I am going to consider A1 union A2 union A3 whole complement, whole complement, which is nothing but A1 complement, intersection A2 complement, intersection A3 complement. So that means I am going to find out, I am going to find out the number of elements, uh, which which number of elements of uh, yes, which are not divisible by 2, 3, 5, 2, 3, 5. So now let us say how many elements are there which are divisible by 2 from 1 to 100, from 1 to 100. So this is a floor of 100 by 2. So there are 50 numbers. And similarly, for A2, cardinality of A2 is 100 divisible by 3. So floor of this, so 33.33. So we are going to take the floor function. So it is 33 only. And then A3 is, A3 cardinality is 5. So 100 divided by 5. Subsequently, we are getting 20. Now, uh, A1 intersection A2 cardinality. So, the number of elements uh, which are divisible by 2 as well as uh, 3. 2 as well as uh, 3. 2, 3 LCM is uh, 6. So, we are going to consider this as 6. 2 as well as uh, 6. So, that is nothing but 16 point uh, we are going to get. So, the number I am taking the floor. So, I am going to get uh, only 16. Now let us say A1 intersection A3. So intersection A3 means 2, 5. 2, 5. 2, 5 LCM is a 10. So I am going to get only 10 elements. Then A1, A2 intersection A3. A2 intersection A3 means 3 and 5. 3 and 5. How many elements which are divisible by 3 as well as 5? So it is nothing but 15. So it is nothing but 6. It is nothing but 6 we are going to get. Now, uh, similarly cardinality of A1 intersection A2 intersection A3. This is nothing but number of elements which are divisible by all the three elements. So here, what is uh, uh, what is the LCM is 2, 3, 5. It is nothing but uh, 6, 5 is 30. So I am going to get 100 by 30. So it is okay, the 3 point something we are going to get, that is 3. Now, I am going to calculate what is uh, A1 union A2 union A3. I have to calculate. Cardinality of A1 union A2 union A3. So this is nothing but simply I am going to find out. This is uh, cardinality of A1 plus cardinality of A2 plus cardinality of A3 minus cardinality of uh, A1 intersection A2 and minus cardinality of A1 intersection A3 minus cardinality of A2 intersection A3 and plus A1 intersection A2 
intersection A D. So this is. Now all the values I know that I am just substituting here. Subsequently we can get the values. We can get the value of this. We can get the value of this. So here what I am going to calculate A1 union A2 union A3. That means so from this what I am going to get. See here it is nothing but a, uh, 7 and just substituting here. Substituting here. So what is the cardinality of A1 is a 50. Cardinality of A2 is a 33. Cardinality of A3 is a 20. And A1 intersection A2 is A1 intersection A2 is 16. A1 uh, A2 intersection A3 is a 6. And it is a 10. And a plus it is 3. So if I am going to simplify this. So finally, what we are going to get it is uh, uh, 74 I am getting. So just adding all the things and next subtracting. Now I am going to calculate what is A1 union A2 union A3. Whole complement. So it is nothing but the total number. What is the total number? 100 minus A1 union A2 union A3. So here what is the what it represents? At least one of the elements. So the number of elements are which are divisible by either 2 or 3 or 5. So its complement if I am going to consider that means the number of elements which are not divisible by 2, 3 or 5. So that is the, that is the main the question. And n is not divisible by. Determine the number of positive integers n which are not divisible by 2, 3 or 5. So from this I am going to calculate. 100, I am going to take 100 minus 74. So it is nothing but 26. So I can write this as a A1 complement intersection, A2 complement intersection, A3 complement cardinality. Also I can write RS, I can keep same as it is. I can keep same as it is. Okay. So either I can write in this way or we can take it as the whole complement we can consider. So 26 numbers are there from 1 to 100, 1 to 100, which is not divisible by, which is not divisible by either 2, 3 or 5, 2 or 3 or 5. So any one, the total number of uh, numbers are divisible by any one of these three are 74, any one of these three are 74. So none of them, uh, the numbers, 26 numbers are there, which are not divisible by 2, 3 as well as 5. So, uh, this is some of the problems uh, which are there in the uh, under uh, principle of inclusion and exclusion. So, uh, with this, uh, I am going to conclude this session. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.